Hello guys and welcome to a new video. This time I'm gonna showcase you a couple of minis that we have painted. These uh, were not painted by me. I wish I could paint as good as uh, this, but uh, nonetheless, these were painted by Bicephalo Art Studio. Uh, big shout out to them. We're working closely together. They're painting uh, a couple of our minis every month. So here they are. All of these minis belong to the Deep Sea Tales collection. The first one is Feel, our merfolk here. She's a merfolk cleric. The waters close to Thamaria are filled with merfolk, so she's one of them. This merfolk worships, or, or they worship a first generation kraken, Kamatova, uh, which is right here, but we're gonna talk more about this bad boy uh, in a little bit. You can see that uh, the colors are very, very bright, very, a lot of contrast. I think this one came out super nice. It, it looks, uh, it looks awesome. It's probably one of my favorite. It's one of the bigger models, so uh, it's also easier to see all the detail in here. On lore and story that we developed, she was kidnapped by Sir Gawain. Uh, speaking of, here he is. Captain Sir Gawain. He's an ambitious and frustrated uh, sailor. He came from a Navy family and he got expelled because of gambling. Gawain joined a group of buccaneers and quickly rose to the ranks thanks to his skills. Uh, being a Thamarian himself, nobles, guilds, and commoners have sought his services as he's very good at what he does. His ship's name is the Great Auk. Uh, it's named after a species of penguins uh, or penguin-like uh, animals that uh, habitate in a large um, island close to Thamaria. These penguins are associated with uh, good luck and Sir Gawain just loves them. So that, that, that's why he named his ship uh, after these animals. He was also hired by the Verdant Company for a job that seemed easy, but it's not, which was capturing this girl here. Gawain was hired by the Verdant Company, which is a band of thugs uh, in Thamaria and its surroundings, and he was hired to, to kidnap a couple of merfolks. So if you're more into the story and the lore, make sure you check that out. There's a PDF containing a one-shot and a lot of, of backstory for all these characters, but let's keep going. The Grass, he's the bodyguard of Sir Gawain. He's an ex-slave from faraway lands. He's a man of honor and skill. He's totally loyal to his captain and he will fight to death. Next in the list is Godoy. He's an old and disappointed buccaneer. He's an old man, as you can see by his um, white beard. He feels betrayed by Sir Gawain, the captain he has followed for so many years. Dormak and Farn, here they are. This guy doesn't have a base yet. But you can see the paint job quite well. Uh, these are members of the Great Ox crew. They are natives of Bolgrin, which is a, a city of dwarves. Um, they left uh, to pursue a better life in Thamaria. They refused to work in the family business, which they never mentioned because they find it quite embarrassing. Uh, who knows what that is? They have worked in the ship for more than five years, hating every second of it. Uh, <laughs> They uh, spend more time complaining about it than actually changing their destiny. They bigger amongst themselves constantly saying that they're cousins, but uh, some others from the crew believe that they are actually a couple. They're terrible at their jobs. Uh, you can see, or you can tell by their angry faces, but um, yeah, they, they just love to complain. Next, we have this corrupted minion. This, this guy came out pretty nice. The paint job is awesome. He's part of the cursed crew of Sir Gawain. These uh, minions uh, protect the ship when, whenever, there's, whenever there's shady things going on at the ship and they don't want any, any intruders. These are, these are the guards that he has for, for those moments. Uh, honestly, of all, out of all these paint jobs, this has to be my favorite. Uh, even though the, it's not my favorite mini from the collection, I really dig the, the color scheme, how everything looks. The red gradient on the arms the, just came out fantastic. And lastly, we have Akamatova. There she is. It's a big kraken. Some believe that this entity is amongst the first in creation, although that doesn't make it a god. Uh, it certainly has godlike powers. Akamatova is a young kraken. Uh, it doesn't really care, though, about mortal affairs, although it protects her uh, worshippers since their prayers and offerings please it. Uh, she has a cult of merfolks around her, and it would be pretty scary if you asked me to encounter this as a low-level player. Even as a high-level player, it would be very hard to combat something like a Kraken. But there you have it, guys. This is a good part of the crew. Hope you like this minis. Hope, hope you like the paint job. Expect more showcases like this 
for future collections and if you have these minis and you didn't know which color to paint them well you feel free to use this as a as a guide or a reference for your color schemes if you like this make sure to like the video if you like the minis if you want to share your own minis on our discord server or facebook group feel free to do so we're always uh, happy to see others paint jobs and comment on them um, we also run a monthly painting competition you can actually improve your skills by entering every month and it costs you nothing you can even get in the top 10 and win a free membership and then get, get uh, a collection like this of free minis every month so thank you guys for watching please like the video subscribe and i'll see you in the next one cheers